हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम वंस अगेन इन ऑनलाइन टीचिंग दिस इज माय थर्ड वीडियो फॉर यू इन प्रीवियस वीडियो ऑलरेडी आई हैव गिवन डिटेल इंफॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग द मेथड्स ऑफ रिप्रोडक्शन इन एनिमल्स एंड टुडे वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस विद यू दैट इज गैमेटोजेनेसिस Gametogenesis is nothing but that is the formation of gametes in male and female gonads is called the gametogenesis. Friends, in last video I have given the basic concept of the developmental biology, and I have clear all these things. That is, uh, what are the sexes? What are the gonads? What are the gametes? Okay, once again, in this video I will give in a brief. that is there are two types of sexes that is a male and female the male having a gonad is called the testis female having a gonad that is called the ovary in testis the gametes are formed by the sperms while in ovary the gametes are formed by the ovum the ovum is also called the egg so male gamete is a sperm and female gametes is a ovum or egg the formation of the sperm and ovum in male and female gonads is called the gametogenesis there are two types of gametogenesis in the animal and that is called the spermatogenesis and oogenesis so both spermatogenesis or oogenesis can be completed in three steps that is or you can say three phases that is a multiplication phase second is a growth phase and third is a maturation phase so we will see one by one that is the spermatogenesis and then the oogenesis now friends before start the spermatogenesis inside the testes what changes histological changes takes place during the maturation of the testes when the testes are matured when the testes are matured during the maturing that is particular histological changes takes place inside the testes and then there is a sperms are forms inside the testes See us. We'll see. I will explain in detail regarding the how the testes become a mature, how the testes become a mature, and what histological changes takes place inside the testes. This is a T S of mature testes. When you see the under the microscope T S of testes, you will. find such type of the structure the testis is having a wall this is the wall the wall having three layers that is outer layer is called the peritoneum middle layer is the tunica albigina and innermost layer is called the germinal epithelium so this is the wall the outermost layer the middle layer and there is a innermost layer is called the germinal epithelium that germinal epithelium is responsible for the formation of sperms the first cell is formed that is called the spermatogonia this is the spermatogonia these spermatogonia is a primary stage or of the formation of the sperms the setting of spermatogonia by the germ cells hmm, is the first stage of formation of the sperms during the maturation of the testis that primary that is spermatogonia which is somewhat larger in size it consists centrally nucleus within the nucleus there is a nucleolus are present and that spermatogonia which is divided into primary spermatocyte this is the primary spermatocytes the primary spermatocytes are somewhat smaller than the spermatogonia see us this is the primary spermatocytes 
is a somewhat smaller than the spermatogonia that primary spermatocytes it consists centrally nucleus and nucleotides the primary spermatocytes again divide into the secondary spermatocytes these are the secondary spermatocytes again this is smaller than the primary spermatocytes it also consists elliptical nucleus and a nucleolus so that secondary spermatocytes again a divide into the spermatids these are the spermatids these are the spermatids they are again smaller in than the secondary spermatocytes so you just now you see here the primary spermatogonia spermatogonia is somewhat large it is divided into the primary again it reduces in size the primary spermatocyte divided into secondary spermatocytes secondary spermatocyte divided into the spermatid and that spermatids is modified into these are small spores what spores are you know that is called the sperms so that is the size of sper spermatogonia to sperms gradually decrease in size they gradually decrease that is a particularly called the formation such histological changes takes place inside the testis during the maturation of a testis once again i will clear here so first that is a spermatogonia first is spermatogonia second is primary spermatocytes then secondary spermatocytes then the spermatids and these are the sperms so there is a size is gradually decrease and for the by the formation of the sperm this is the ts of a testis now come to the next slide and that is called the sperm how the spermatogenesis takes place inside the testis already i have told that at beginning the spermatogenesis or it may be oogenesis it can be complete by three phase one phase is called the multiplication phase second is called the growth phase and third phase is called the maturation by these three phase there are spermatogenesis complete now we will see the first that is see this first cell that is called the germ cells in i have you know i i have told that the germinal epithelium which is responsible for the setting the spermatogonia so that is germ cells that is called the, that germ cell is a diploid cells this is a diploid cells it's so this is diploid cells these are diploid cells having a nucleus and inside the nucleus there is a two set of chromosomes are present and that's why it is called the diploid cells so diploid cells divided into two diploid cells and two diploid cells divided into four diploid cells these are the four diploid cells and that is called the spermatogonia so one diploid cells divided into two divided into two diploid cells and two diploid cells divided into four diploid cells and that is called the spermatogonium the primary sperm that is that four diploid spermatogonium spermatogonium is divided by the mitosis so two set of chromosomes here is also two set of chromosomes here is also two set of chromosomes only number is a increases one is to two then two is to four so this is a multiplication phase the occurs in first phase then after the multiplication phase is over then second stage is start that is called the growth phase this is a growth phase so this in this growth phase the first spermatogonia that is spermatogonia uh, is growing in a large size by nutrition and accumulation of food material uh, nutrition and food material accumulate karto gelo ani tachi size vadte tachyamule yala kaam tat growth phase so that is spermatogonia grows in a size uh, grows in size by nutrition and accumulation of food and that is the called the primary spermatocyte that stage is called the primary spermatocytes 
this is a stage is called the primary spermatocytes so primary spermatocytes is a somewhat larger in size contains hmm, a large contains large nucleus and inside the nucleus there is a nucleolus is a present and it is also consisted two set of a micro sir chromosomes two set of chromosomes so that cause it is also called the diploids so that diploid primary spermatocytes is divided into the uh, haploid chromosome uh, haploid cells and that is called the secondary spermatocytes primary spermatocytes divided into the secondary spermatocytes it consists only single set of chromosomes single set of chromosomes that's why it is called the haploid and that's why secondary spermatocytes smaller than the primary spermatocytes that spermato secondary spermatocytes again and divided into the spermatids these are the spermatids so spermatids are again smaller in size again smaller in size and it consists half set of chromosomes that's why again it is smaller in size and that spermatids see as from the growth stage that uh, spermatocytes divide into two that is haploid haploid again divided into the haploid spermatids that is again half chromosomes are present and that spermatids are converted into the sperms or the modified or metamorphosis takes place of the spermatids into the sperm that process is called the spermatogenesis so how to this is particular see the four here is a 1 2 3 4 that is four chromosomes four sperms are developed from one primary spermato gonia so gonium so there are four spermatogonium that is first second third and fourth so each spermatogonium use four sperm so there are 16 chromosomes are developed in the you know, by the host diploid cells so in the spermatogonies that is a the sperm formation takes place by the process of multiplication phase second is a growth phase and third is a maturation phase so is this way the spermatogenesis is a occurs in a fishes so i think you get understand all these things is very simple already you have studied in 10th class what is the spermatogenesis how the changes takes place in the spermatogenesis you remember that the in the spermatogenesis there is a size of spermatogonium cells are divided divided and become a small in a size small in a size and lastly sperms are forms okay friends we will stop here i think uh, if you have any queries regarding the spermatogenesis you can ask me on whatsapp or you can ask me personally uh, on my uh, phone numbers or also you can give comments regarding the spermatogenesis on the uh, google classroom thank you